Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are working with very common, very classic colors for Easter pastel colors. I am using Betalytics balloons and I got all of my balloons from Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company. If you're a new customer and this is your first purchase at Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. I will be using one more thing that is very interesting and I am very curious to test out. Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company sent me this foiled inflator that is specifically for foiled balloons. I am curious to know what it's going to be like and I will give you more detail as we go with this video. I am also using very beautiful, very cute looking foiled balloons from Lord Del Paper and Balloon Company. Everything will be listed and linked in the description under this video. Without any further ado, let's go. And this is what I am using for today's video. As you can see, I have a huge pile of pastel balloons here from Vitalitics. I have different colors, different sizes here. I have 24, 11, 5, and I cannot wait to dig in and just work with them. Also, I have these foiled balloons in the shape of a bunny. It says Happy Easter, and then this big looking cute head of a bunny never understood uh, the meaning of bunny and eggs for easter it's always been uh, jesus christ and his resurrection and his blood that was shed for every single one of us and this is the foil inflator that i told you about in the beginning of this video as you can see the electric air inflator for foil balloons with automatic backflow to prevent over inflation so i am very excited and very curious about this thing let's go inflate our balloons i am using my electric balloon pump this is zoom i will link this pump in the description under this video so here is uh, what I am thinking. I don't really want to go humongous with this balloon garland, but then I want something, uh, whoa, impressive. I don't know, I'm still deciding what I want to do. I do have five inch balloons in four colors, purple, green, blue, and pink, and I don't have individual balloons in same colors in 11 inch size. So I took the assortment bag and I will be separating the colors just to have a little bit of 11 inch balloons with my five inch balloon. So I'm starting with blue here. I am grabbing two balloons, inflating them at the same time. Into different sizes. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's a little bit smaller and I am tying them together into a pair. I am tying them pretty close together because I need these uh, necks of balloons being very nice and long and stretchy. I will be using these necks to construct my balloon garland later on. I will be using only one assortment of balloons, one bag of it, and the second bag I am putting aside. So let's inflate the rest. I will be uh, inflating my five inch balloons into pairs as well. So doing exactly what I did with my uh, 11 inch balloons. So I took the bag of assortment of pastel color 11 inch balloons and I split them into colors and I ended up having 15 balloons per color. I don't want to use any more. I will be using exactly amount that I have here, but instead I will be using quite a few five inch balloons. I need to cluster and quad everything. I am taking two pairs of balloons and intertwining everything together, grabbing another pair of balloons and adding into our balloons and are winding everything nice and tight together to make sure that nothing is going to untangle and go places. So here we create a smaller size cluster. To create a quad, I am taking a smaller pair of 11 inch balloons and I am taking five inch pair of balloons as well and are winding everything together. 
into a quad like this. So you can definitely grab uh, two pairs of 11 inch balloons and interwind them together into a quad or grab your five inch balloons and interwind them together. Another thing that I want to do with my five inch balloons. These are regular size five inch balloons and these little guys I made out of five inch balloons. How I will be doing that. I am grabbing a balloon inflating, not too big. About this big, it's literally half of a five inch balloon and I am tying a knot. The knot on my balloon is the middle center of my balloon. Grabbing my two fingers, pinching right in the middle of my balloon, pinching and twisting. Now we created two smaller size balloons. Twist a couple of times. Now we need to find this neck from the balloon and wrap a few times. Let it go. Now we have this pair of smaller size balloons. So doing exactly the same thing to our second balloon. Once I have two pairs of balloons like this, I am interwining them together and I am creating a smaller size quad of balloons. How adorable are these guys over here. So I will be doing a few of these, not too many, but enough to give a little bit more detail into my balloon garland. And I will be doing exactly the same thing what I did with my blue balloons so with the rest of my colors. my balloon garland like usual i am using necks of balloons from clusters so i reached into my cluster and found the stretchiest and the longest neck that i could find doing exactly the same thing to my other cluster and taking those necks and tying them together this technique will involve some finger strength but you'll get used to it i got used to it pretty quickly and keep on tying balloons until you will be happy with the length of your balloon garland to attach my balloon garland to my fireplace i will be using command hooks these are half a pound like usual and i absolutely love the adjustable hook on my command hooks because whenever i am hooking on the string string pulls the hook and string can't escape the hook. So any direction it will go with the string. With just a solid hook, string can slip out and unhook itself. So I love these guys. They will be linked in the description under this video. Using 20 pound fishing line, I am attaching this balloon garland straight to my hook. extra clusters of balloons so to my balloon garland i will be using necks of balloons i am looking for the neck looking for the neck here and then tying these necks together and it will hold my structure very well let's unbox our foil inflator this is how it's, it looks. Looks very interesting. It comes with these guys and instructions as well. Let's assemble our inflator and test this out. So nothing really to assemble. Just take this part and insert on your inflator. There's a switch button on and off and a whole bunch of nozzles to fit any balloon base. I am practicing or testing this inflator on this bunny. So I am taking the balloon and inserting this nozzle into my balloon where we usually inflate our foil balloons, just like this, and switching my button on. Apparently, this inflator has the automatic uh let me see automatic backflow feature that will prevent over inflation of your balloon so let's try this out i don't know get ready Okay, 
okay that's cool that's very very interesting you guys i am very impressed because as you saw this balloon inflated and uh, i kept the inflator going to see if this inflator will stop inflating it didn't stop but exactly as this uh, instruction told us that there is an automatic backflow so basically inflator do not inflate the balloon further it just feels that the balloon is inflated and it's keeping the balloon inflated to the right size i am very very impressed with this inflator also you guys also uh this inflator is very gentle as you know i usually use uh, my hand pump to inflate all of my foiled balloons and it takes a lot of time the reason was is because um, uh, your regular inflator is way too powerful for that plastic insert that all of the balloons self-sealing foil balloons have and it can damage that plastic insert and balloons will be ruined and uh, air will be escaping from them that's why i started using hand pump but then this thing will save me so so much time i am loving this instead of for example a minute of inflating a foil balloon this will take me probably like 20 seconds or so so i am happy with this i will link this thing in the description under the video as i said so far so good let's inflate more bunnies let's inflate the head of the bunny and see how it will perform with the rest of our foil balloons The more I use this inflator, the more I love this machine. Honestly, it's small, it's portable, it's very gentle on my balloons. If you deal with foil balloons on daily basis, you guys, this will be a great uh, investment for you, honestly. Thank you so much, Lord Dill Paper and Balloon Company for sending me this inflator. I really, really enjoyed this thing. I was honestly, kind of skeptical about this inflator i'm like foiled inflator like what is this but then you guys i'm happy with this thing but <laughs> let's go and play the rest of our buddies i was playing around with my foiled balloons and i wanted to see what i want to do with them and how i want to assemble them but then it hit me i grabbed my acrylic stands and i stuffed my bunny inside of an acrylic stand and it looks so cute in my opinion i really like the look of it it reminds me of really luxurious box with something pretty inside so i feel like i want to keep him uh there i feel like i want to probably add a little bit of greenery at the very bottom just to give it a, as a grass look in there like an outdoor feel and I'm going to do exactly the same thing with this stand as well. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. my 24 inch balloons i am using a rubber band i am folding my rubber band in half wrapping around the knot on my balloon then opening one side of my rubber band and feeding through the other side and tightening my rubber band around the knot now i have this loop and i can loop it over any of the balloons on my balloon garland my smaller size quads of balloons i am using a rubber band stretch it and loop it over your balloons now i am going straight to my balloon garland and i am looping my rubber band over one of the balloons on my balloon garland and it will hold very good i will 
try my best to explain how I work with rubber bands. With rubber bands, you need to know from where you need to start looping your rubber band to, for your balloons to stay on one specific spot where you want them to stay. So I want to place this quad of balloons right here. I need to loop this rubber band to this balloon over over here and I am starting from bottom to the very top. If I'll start from the top going down, your rubber band will end up over here. So I don't want that. So I'm starting from the very bottom and looping upwards. Fixing, playing around, seeing what's best and voila. love what I see here almost I don't like the fact that I can see colors in strips I want to blend them in a little bit more I also like what's going on here there's a lot right there but then if you look up it's kind of empty so I want to grab matching flowers that we inserted over here and insert them right in on this spot at least try it if not we can always remove it i will be inserting my flowers between my balloons and it should hold let's try this out love this so much better absolutely love how this section is blended in right now flowers and did the magic here with blending all of the colors together i also absolutely love what i did with these bunnies i don't know how many balloons i used for this installation my best advice is to buy uh, a bag of balloons in each color and each size and you'll be good yes you will have some balloons as leftovers but you will be sure that you'll have enough balloons 